Welcome back to Morrowind Game of the Year Edition. Today we're going to be continuing on with the East Empire Trading Company's uh, quest. And let's go on and talk to Falco and see where we're at. Alright, Simon. The work is almost done. Let Carnius know, would you? Alright, so we need to run on over to Carnius and let him know some work is about done. Yes? What can this help you? The trader is almost done. Fine, fine. Now leave me alone. Told Carnius that the work on the trader outpost is done. Alright, so let's go on and recall back, or yeah, recall back and get back to Falco. Some of these quests are very easy like that, I think. But I'm not really sure if that was a quest or not. It might have been a follow-up from last episode, but anyways, let's get them back over here. We'll talk decisions to Falco. Are good. Good decisions are right. Hello, Nomad. Are you here on assignment, or did you just stop by? First, let's hit uh, promotion, see if we got a promotion. Certainly qualified. Alright, so we gotta do more assignments, which is not a big deal. It seems that nothing is easy, Nomad. Carnius replace Carnius's replacement sh supply ship has brought new problems with it, namely one Baro Ignatius. He seems to think that he deserves extra payment for delivering our supplies and taking the ore back to the mainland, and I for one have no intention of giving it in to him. I've given up trying to reason with him. Why don't you try taking talking some sense into him? All right. He's the captain of the new supply ship that's arrived. He should still be down by the docks. I don't believe he's budged since he made his demand for extra payment. He's demanding a ridiculous sum of money. I won't even repeat what it is, or else he'll refuse to take any of the ore back to the mainland. This is unacceptable, and something needs to be done about it. I've tried reasoning with him to no avail. I'd like you to talk to him. Alright. So, we need to go and talk to him. Yep, need to go talk to him and talk some sense into him. But, let's run on down here and see. Oh, look at here. And we got a dock now, actually. Instead of it just being a wander up to the beach. Pretty sure that's going to be the guy. Let's go on and hit a save. Probably should have made a new save point, but it'll be alright. May I help you? Yep, there he is. Well now, have they finally sent someone to deliver the extra payment I requested? I told them that if I was going to make this trip on top of what Elvaroth was doing, it cost them. And I'm getting tired of waiting. Who is Elvaroth? He's a friend of mine, not much to look at, and certainly not much of a captain, but he was a hell of a fighter, always brandishing that stupid sword of his. But what business is it of yours? Let, let's talk about what extra payment of mine, that extra payment of mine, shall we? That's right. You see this boat? It doesn't go anywhere until I've got the money in my hands. Your boss already knows what I'm after. And unless you're here to give it to me, I suggest you get lost. Otherwise, you might get hurt. Elberoth. So let's uh, Go ahead. talk to. Uh, I want to talk to Falco about Elberoth. See if there's anything to do with him. And there's our trader post up there. So that's nice. We can take some of this stuff and sell it. Bar Baro knew him, yes. I know nothing of him beyond his name. Perhaps Apronia might know something more, since she was on the ship with him. Okay, so that will be the lady, I think, that we brought back with us. Well, yep. if it isn't you again, I think you're one of the nicest people I know. And that may explain a lot. He was completely incompetent as a ship captain, I can tell you that much. Such an odd little Bosmer, too. 
thought he was the best fighter in the province, always waving that sword around, but then the ship crashed and he was injured. For all his talk of being a good fighter, he sure didn't last long against those horrible undead things. I ended up taking his saber and using it to defend myself. About the only thing he ended up being good for, in my opinion. Alright, so she has his blade. Certainly came in handy now that I think of it, though. I don't really have much use for it. Here, you take it. Not like it's worth much of anything, but odds are you, you'd you be more likely to use it than I ever will. Alright, so we got Elbaroth's saber. Let's see what it is. Now, what I'm thinking here, we probably just give this saber to him and he'll go. So it looks like a... Uh, what? Cutlass? Maybe? Maybe a cutlass? That's a pretty cool looking sword, but... Alright, let's throw down there and uh, see about giving it to him. So he'll get on his way. Well now, have they finally sent someone? Uh, okay, let's see. Just go to Elbaroth. Keep bringing him up, do you? If only he were here, he'd wipe the floor with you. Wouldn't be nearly as gracious as I have. I mean, a mean little Bosmer he is. Keep annoying him like this, and he'd likely put his saber through your skull. Next time I see him, I'll make a point of mentioning you. Perhaps he'll pay you a visit. What? You're going to try to tell me you have it? Sure. It's easy to talk. A guy like Elbaroth, though... He wouldn't just say he had his saber, he'd show you he had it. And a guy looking at Elbaroth holding his saber, he'd understand things pretty good or he'd be real sorry. Okay, uh, let's try equipping it, I guess. Don't try to intimidate me, you. That sword, it looks like Elbaroth. Is that his saber? How did you... But where? So, it's true. He's dead? You don't mean to tell me that you... I mean, you didn't... You didn't kill him, did you? Okay, listen. Maybe I made a bit of a mistake, alright? How about I just t take the ship and deliver that ore? And we won't have any sort of problem at all. Just... Just don't hurt me. Look, I'm going now. See? Recognized Elbaroth's saber while I was holding it and mistakenly thinks I killed Elbaroth. This works in my favor since he's now willing to transport the goods without any extra payment. Alright, so, a little bit of intimidation there, but it is what it is. I don't even know how to use a long blade. <laughs> I think you can also uh, persuade him. I think you can also persuade him to go, but... Or pay him yourself, but uh, I think you handled him quite well. Alright, next assignment. You spared me from having to make that extra payment, and for that, I thank you, Nomad. Extra payment. Well done, Nomad, well done. Perhaps things can return to normal. The logs from the mines aren't adding up, Nomad. Ore is disappearing, and if my hunch is right, Urin Marin, Marin is the one making it disappear. Of course, if my hunch is right, we're going to need proof of the of his death. Urin, Urin Marin, where yet Urin? I won't reveal where the information came from, but I can tell you that I believe he's hiding the ore in a chest in his house until he can offload it to someone else. I want you to find that chest and get the ore from it. You need this key to get into his house. Alright. Doc has given me the key to Ur Urin's house. I should look for a locked chest near the bed. The ore should be in it. Alright, so who is Urin? Which one is he? That's Gammon. This one is Guider. And so I guess this is Urin? Nope. Savinus? Alright, well, I don't know who Urin is, but I'm guessing that's probably his house, since I think it's the only one here right now. Yep. So it's going to be in there. I want to go to the trader real quick first and get rid of some of this stuff. So it's not just sitting out here on the ground.
As for that stuff, I'm going to keep that stuff, though. That's the uh, bear, polar bear, or the snow bear, and uh, shadow sting, and the gloves. So the rest of it, though, is going to come in here to the trader. And he should have some of the most money in the game, but let's get him all the way up to 100. You know, you know he's going to like this. There we go. 10,000 gold. Yep. So that's very good. Very good amount. Get rid of that stuff. Get rid of the Claymore. Get rid of the boots. That thing. That thing. It's not as good, but it's not bad. It's got frost damage. Kind of want to hold on to that. Um, weights 10. Weighs a bit, though. It weighs heavier than a Daedric dagger. It'll be alright for now, I guess. We can go on and get rid of these, too, I guess. At least a few of them. We're probably already at the point where we could take all of his gold, so let's try that. This will be the biggest purchase yet. 10,000 gold. And we did it. And he put on the armor too, so that's nice. We'll get to dress him up a little bit as well. I always like throwing on something that makes them look cool. Raven Rock, a jewel. And as for Elbaroth's blade or saber or whatever it was called, we're gonna drop it and keep it as well. Before we go breaking into someone's house, definitely want to save. Especially since it's night out, too, because uh, we might be home. Which, I don't think in Morrowind that they actually go home like they do in Skyrim, but just because I don't remember, let's save anyways. It doesn't seem like anyone's home. We got a door right here. Let's open up. Alright, don't see anything in here out of the ordinary. It's clear there's the chest, so let's see. Lock level 100. And the key actually opened it up, but there's nothing in it. So let's see. The chest in Urin's house is empty. Nice little house here. Okay, the supply ship is fine. What else do they want? What? My information was very reliable. It may be that he was tipped off by someone. I don't claim to have a monopoly on spying here at Raven Rock. Well, if we don't have any evidence, then we'll just have to catch him red-handed. He should be in the mine. Follow him and see if he does anything suspicious. Take care not to be seen by anyone, as they could alert him to your presence. You're not supposed to be seen by anyone. Alright. Well... Since we are a mage character, there's only one way to go about 
not being seen by anybody, and that will be concealment, invisibility. But we need to go and uh, rest up, get us our magic all the way up. Well, actually, I take that back. We have plenty of magic of potions, so we'll use some potions. Let's go and find find old urine. Where's he at? Shouldn't be anything bad down here, I don't think, since it's uh just a uh, mine. Hey, your be pure, and your prophet fly. Yep, that's your. Oh, uh, hey there, nomad. Didn't see you. Excuse me, but I need to uh, get back to work. Oh, what the heck! All right, so I don't supposed to talk to him, so. Good thing I saved, but we're going to have to go through his house again real quick. So, don't talk to him beforehand. Another day. Go on and pop in here real quick. Check out his chest. Nothing there. And so we just gotta go in and follow him down, it looks like. Let's go on and put our concealment spell on. kind of started walking last time, so I wonder if it's time-based or... are invisible. Followed urine to the storage room where he has no business being. It's saved again. And I don't know if he's supposed to confront him or not, so this is why I'm saving, because I'm going to confront him. Nomad, what are you doing here? Uh, there's a perfectly good explanation for this, I assure you. Yes, yes, you see, I, well, I was, okay, fine, you caught me, but I swear I didn't want to do this. Carney has put me up to it. He said he'd kill me if I didn't steal as much ore as I could. Urine confessed to stealing ore from the mines, but says that Carney has put him up to it. May your ore be pure, and your prophet fly. Alright, so, we got some uh, shady dealings here going on with Carney. He's, he's done turned against us. 
just go out and tell Falco real quick and see what he's got to say about it. Okay, the supply ship is fine. It's a name like Urine, though, uh, you know, I understand why. Just as I suspected, I didn't want to say anything at the time, but I was relatively sure that Carnius was involved. Well, now that we have a witness, perhaps it is time that we bring this matter to the attention of the investors. I'll see to it that Urine is sequestered in one of the colony storerooms for now. Go see that what Carnius has to say for himself, won't you? All right. Will do. Yes? What can this humble priest do? Ooh, how about that? You chose Falco. What is it, Agent? Let's see, explanation or urine. He's a thief and clearly a liar as well. Oh, don't you worry. I'll take care of this personally, but I assure you I had nothing to do with it. I've said all I have to say on the subject, Agent. I suggest you leave. Alright, getting defensive. Even Falco was thinking you had something to do with it. It would appear that the matter of urine has been settled for us, no matter. He was found dead shortly after being locked up. Of course, I have no proof that he was murdered and there was no witnesses. I'm sure Carney has had something to do with it, but if I can't prove it, I don't dare accuse him of it. At least the thieving problem should stop for now. You've done good work, Nomad. Thank you. Well, that sucks for him. Alright. Assignment. No, I don't have anything for you right now. We're concentrating on finishing up the current construction here at the site. Come find me when we're done with it. Alright, um, so... With that being done... Let's just, uh... Ball Jam, Rockman's Bane, Castle Karstag, we got Thrist. We still haven't found the Skull Village up here, but we're not going to do that yet. What I want to do is, I want to go on and rest and get the uh, next part of Raven Rock going. So, once Raven Rock is done, then we can actually start the, uh, start the, um, whatever I'm trying to think of and say right now. Main quest. We can start the main quest after Raven Rock is completed. Or doing some of these side quests, either or. Let's go on and kill this Berserker. Easier opponent. Easier opponent. You should have uh, picked someone who wasn't as powerful as me, miss. And you might have wanted to attack them with clothes on. Nor mead. Okay. We got a spriggan over there as well. Maybe it'll attack us while we're trying to sleep. Or not. How about we attack it before we sleep? And we'll soul trap it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Don't stand a chance. So it's friggin' down. Let's see about the soul. All right. Should be able to rest again. It to be daytime too, so so it'll be eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, seven's fine. <laughs> and we got a journal update. The second phase of construction should be complete. I should check in at the colony to see if there's any work for me. Alright, let's move on back to the colony, which we got some new buildings here now. Like maybe another watchtower of some type or storehouse, okay. And a a bar, okay, cool. I'm listening. Dralora Bavelman. Got some buildings going on. Very nice. Hello, Nomad. Are you here on assignment or are you just stopping by? Yes, I have a matter that needs urgent attention, something that has gone horribly wrong with Seller Favlin, and I need you to attend to him immediately. Okay, so we just met a Favlinim, so who is Seller? I don't know what's gotten into him. Word is that he's been trying to fight anyone who walks into the bar. Just This just isn't like him at all. Find out what's going on and see if you can settle him down. Alright, no man, he's probably still in there. Alright. He's on some sort of rampage at the Raven Rock Bar. All right, let's go on in. Let's see what we got going on. Are you going in there? You are, aren't you? What have they told you to do? Please don't hurt my husband. I just don't know what's gotten into him. He's been sick lately, and I think he's tired. Tired of being old. Tired of feeling useless. But I just don't know why he'd do this. Please, make sure he's safe, Nomad. I don't know what to do without him. Don't hurt him. Whatever you do, if he tries to fight you, just don't fight back. He can't keep it up for long. Beg me not to hurt her husband. Well, alright, it's not like he can really hurt me. I guess we are playing the good guy, right? So, where is he at? Is he the Dunmer guy, I guess? Oh, yep. I suppose they've sent you to deal with me, haven't they? Well then, let's get this over with. You're not some type, kind of coward, are you? Come on and fight me. If I'm going to die, then I'm going out with a bang. Challenge me to kill him before he kills me. You don't know who you're hitting, bruh. Everybody else is just kind of watching you. Can't. Can't keep swinging. Too tired. Just, just fight me, okay? Come on. I'm, I'm too tired. Just can't fight anymore. Kill me, won't you? Just tell them you had no choice. That you had to defend yourself. I just don't want to live like this anymore. Why would you want to die? Why? Look at me. I'm an old man. My health is failing. I'm of no use in the mines, and I'm a burden to my family. I don't want to waste any. A what waste away in bed, don't you see? There's no way, for, that's no way for a man to die. What about your wife? My wife will be better off without me, whether she knows it or not. What, you think you know better? <laughs> this isn't your only option. I suppose you're going to try and tell me that my family is more important, right? Look, I don't want things to end like this, but I don't want 
Dralora to have to see me wasting away in front of her. I don't want her to have to take care of me because I can't do it myself. Just kill me, won't you? Put an end to this. No. You're right. You're right. I know. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll stop and I'll try to look on the bright side from now on. I convinced Seller to calm down and return home so that he may live out the few years he has left in comfort with his family. Greetings. What exactly do Hello, you Nomad. Is it snowing again? Feels like it from the way my joints ache. Snowing? Okay, so snow. No thanks. We have plenty here already. Ugh. Alright. Of course you do. Alright. Dolora. Thank you, Nomad, for sparing Silo's life. Alright, I'll kill. I'll take your life then. Or not. Hello, Nomad. Are you here on assignment or are you just stopping by? Cellar. Thank you, Nomad. It would have been easy to kill him, and it would have been in your right to do so. You've shown great compassion, and I wish to reward that. Alright. Cool. Now, assignments. Give me more assignments. Something has happened in the mine. The men have unearthed a burial cavern, but it's unlike any we've seen before. There's some sort of ice in there that they can't break through. I want you to find out what it is. There are some Nords that live just south of where the Harstrad and the sealed rivers meet. Go and talk to one named Gareen and see if he can tell you anything. Falco informed me of a strange block of ice found in Burial Cave. He asked me to go speak to Gareen, one of the local Nords, about it. He and his companions can be found at the junction of the rivers to the north northeast. Alright, so we've already been to these people's houses. It's actually this one right here, I think. So really close to right here so we'll just run up there real quick and uh, see what's up but we already know what it is as well or at least I already know what it is and I've mentioned it a few times it's stall rim and stall rim being pretty interesting personally because it can be made into armor but it's an ore and there's brigands everywhere around here Man. So let's just take this one out. Oh, got a wrist. So let's see. Go on, max out willpower. Get some strength and agility. Start on endurance next. After we max out willpower, of course. Already looked at this hole, maybe, maybe not. Jolvers. I think we might have seen that one before.
think we're on the wrong side of the river too. Couple of reavers back there. I think we're on the wrong side of the river. Let's go on across. Somebody's fighting. Somebody's getting attacked over here, so somebody came after uh, after the people we were trying to talk to. Found Garing and his companions under attack, but the assailant has been defeated. Speak to Grarin. What is it, friend? Silver Viper Blade. That sucks. Garing. You, you are not here to hurt us. Then perhaps you are different from the rest. You seek knowledge of Stalrim, yes. You are not the first to seek it. Outsiders like this woman have been here before, always demanding, always offering payment that is useless to us. But they get nothing. The Skull gives them nothing because they call it sacred. We give them nothing because we know they would misuse it. Okay, Skull, Sacred, and Misused. They live in a village on the northern coast of Sol Solstein. They hold the island's bears and wolves in very high regard. Sacred. The Skull consider the Stall Rim to be holy. During the Great War with the Dark Elves, many heroes fell in battle. Some could not be returned to Skyrim and were buried here. Great magics work were worked on their tombs to protect their belongings from grave robbers and their corpses from worse things. Energy was drawn from the land itself and our heroes were encased in tombs of ice. That ice is called stall room. Alright, and misuse it. We learned that stall room can be forged much like iron and steel. We were made outcasts for it. The skull are too narrow-minded to understand its practical use. Some, like this woman, hear of it and come seeking it, but will not get it from us. You, however, have earned my respect. We will now see if you can truly be trusted. Take this pickaxe and use it to chip off a piece of stall room. Bring that piece to me. Alright, and we got the ancient Nordic pickaxe that way. So, lock in the mine. Get that pick 
pickaxe down here. It's an axe, of course. Weight 20, so it's weighted. Not very good. Value's high. But this is the only way to mine stall rim, which we've run into before. And we're going to go back, I think, to where we ran into it, just because I want to go on and get as much of this as I can right now. We have some reavers over there that we're going to go on and kill, because they're right in the way I want to go. I'd like you to meet Erna. We have a lot of my wife to look after in this town. Okay, actually, I'm going to leave them alone for right now. So, I'll come back to them later and deal with that side quest. It's a little one. Um, it's interesting. Fun side quest. Towards Thrist, too, which is where I want to go right now. They're re recycling. Thrist. It should be around here somewhere. Okay, there it is. It's a little bit more of a bear armor made. The best armor on all of Snow bear armor. And I think we got the right pauldron last time, so we want to get the left pauldron this time. Uh, I really want to be daytime too. So we'll do 7 a.m. Then we're going to go another 24 hours, keep it 7 a.m. Left pauldron. Alright. What else do we have? We've got six wolf pelts. Now, let's check this custom armor here for wolf. Got six, so we can go and do the pauldrons or the gauntlets. Pauldrons or the gauntlets, and we can one eighteen. It should be the light armor, so let's do the pauldrons first. On it. Wolf armor. Right pauldron. Right pauldron. And now left pauldron. And 
then since we still have two pelts left, I guess I'll go on and do the right glove. Well, whichever gloves first, of course, but... We'll do the right gauntlet. And here we go. Left and right pauldrons. Snow bear. Try to get the glove from him. 82. So it's nowhere close to as good as the glass armor. Just gives us a little bit of uh, resist frost if we wanted to wear it. Only 100 condition as well, so the condition's worse as well. Let's see what it looks like at the very least. Oh boy. It looks pretty cool, I know that much. I could go on and rock it the rest of this play playthrough, but don't really want to. I might once I get some more of the wolf pelts, and I might run over there and get some more just so I can make the uh, the greaves as well, the greaves and the other glove. And then I'll I'll I might wear it the rest of the Blood Moon playthrough once I get that. All right, so now we need to head south, and that's also assuming we don't get the uh, or the stall room isn't what we want to run with because I think stall room is light armor as well. So, it's very good. Very good armor. Very cool. Very, uh, use it with the, uh, expansion that we're playing, so. So right now, we're looking for Uncle Sweet Shares. Not because we want to go into his quest or anything but because I'm I want to go south of his place to find the stall room cave that we helped uh, Ingmar in maybe that wolf won't attack us all right so there it is If you remember, under this arch here is the uh, barrow, the barrow where we uh, helped Ingmar it. Alright, we got the raw stall room, resist frost, frost damage, paralyzed, worth 300, not bad. But it is 5 pounds, so it is kind of heavy. Got 2 stall room. Got 3 stall room. Alright, and we did get the, uh, we did get the journal update, but... We are still going to go back to the uh, Raven Rock and get the stall room at the bottom of the mine. Get the Nord some of that stall room there, man. I'm curious to see what they can do with it.
Who hit some of Okay. So let's go down the bottom. And I believe the star room's at the very bottom of this mine too, so you have to go all the way down. Aldem, Aldem. Uh, this might be the way. Maybe. Okay, nope, this is Ebony. Okay, here it is. So they broke through to like a burial place or something. There's the stall. One there. Any more down here? Looks like that's the only stall room down here, which that kind of sucks. Considering the other one gave us three. Are there any more? Well, you can kind of hear water. <laughs> Just recall out of the mines. It's just a long ways and run on back. So now all the way back to those Nords. Another tomb over there. Oh wait, we actually have something marked on our map now. Rotary Grove, okay. Jail.
Alright, growing. What is it, friend? Stall room. You have some of it. I shall not take it from you. That you are were willing to bring it as proof enough. Now I, now that I can know you know you can be trusted, you may come to us at any time. We will construct for you armor and weapons. Speak to Aranar and Hyder. Hyder. They will do these things for you with my blessing. All right. Uh, Gearing has agreed to construct weapons and armors out of stall room. If I bring him the raw materials, it's just that there is a finite amount of it on the island, so I should be careful of what I choose. All right. So that's that, and this is where we're going to end it for today, guys. In the next episode, we will be creating some stall room armor. Um, but until then, I'll see you on the next one.